Mr. Speaker, the government of Ukraine has requested lethal defensive weapons from this government. Many of our allies, including the United States, the United Kingdom, Poland, and the Czech Republic, all have granted this request and have supplied lethal defensive weapons. The Prime Minister has refused this request. Why? The Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. When I was in Ukraine a week ago, President Zelensky made one ask to make sure that we would help by offering a sovereign loan to the Ukraine government to make sure to deal with economic instability. Three days later, we provided $120 million in sovereign loan. What I heard from the National Guard on site in Ukraine is they needed more support in terms of military training. A week later, we extended and expanded Operation Unifier. The Honourable Member for Wellington, Halton Hills. Mr. Speaker, diplomacy not backed by credible threats of the use of military force is nothing more than empty talk and rhetoric. Canada should be joining our other democratic allies and working in a multilateral fashion with our NATO partners to, to grant Ukraine's request and provide lethal defensive weapons. When will this government quit being so naive about its foreign policy and ensure that it counters the threats coming from authoritarian regimes like Russia? Sure. Minister. Mr. Speaker, we're steadfast in supporting Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Let me quote NATO Secretary General Stoltenberg. Canada is one of the lead countries in NATO when it comes to providing support for Ukraine. He also said there are not many countries at equal level of efforts doing as much as Canada. We will continue to work with our NATO allies and make sure that the situation de-escalates.